There's one more unit that it, we're going to discuss in detail a little bit later called the parsec. And this one is, uh, or, you know, not that different from the light year in terms of its actual length. Um, it's about three times different. So I'm going to show you how it relates to the light year and then we'll come back to how it's defined. Okay, so I'm first just going to tell you that one parsec is 3.1 times 10 to the 16 meters. A light year is about nine and a half times 10 to the 15 meters. And the distance to Alpha Centauri is 4.4 light years. So I want to do a unit conversion here and ask how far is the distance to Alpha Centauri in parsecs. So if you're a little bit rusty on doing unit conversions, then this is the process. Um, it'll come up from time to time in this class. So the first thing to do is start with what you know. So you're going to start with the 4.4 light years to Alpha Centauri, and we want to get this number into parsecs. And since we don't have the exact conversion factor between parsecs and light years, I haven't told you how many light years are in one parsec, uh, then instead we have to go through two conversion steps here. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is rearrange these equations so that they say one equals a fraction. So for example, the top equation, one parsec equals 3.1 times 10 to the 16 meters. I could represent that as one equals 3.1 times 10 to the 16 meters divided by one parsec, or I could write it as one equals one parsec divided by 3.1 times 10 to the 16 meters. It works both ways. And in algebra, you can multiply anything by one at any time, that's totally legal. So I'm gonna multiply by one in this form so that I can get rid of my unit of light years. So that's gonna cancel out because one is, uh, the 4.4 light years is in my numerator and the one light year here is in my denominator. So here is the first conversion factor I will use. And this is just moving to an intermediate unit that I already know. Now I have my, if I complete this calculation, I would then have the distance to Alpha Centauri in meters, but I want it in parsecs. So I need to convert one more time. And this time I'm going to use uh, this conversion factor uh, that gets rid of my meters by putting it in the denominator since I have now meters in the numerator. All right, and again, scientific notation is helpful here because now what we do is we multiply these two prefactors and divide by this one, right? 4.4 times 9.5 divided by 3.1 will be our new prefactor. Our units will cancel out and our um, factors of 10, we have a 10 to the 15 in the numerator, a 10 to the 16 in the denominator. So when we gather those up, we get 10 to the 15 minus 16. And so that all simplifies to 13.5 times 10 to the minus one parsecs. When we see a 10 to the minus one, that means kick the decimal back one place. And so we end up with 1.35 parsecs. So 4.4 um, light years is about 1.35 parsecs. Um, so you could use th these results to find out how many light years is in one parsec by taking the 4.4 divided by the 